the finest African launch site. Hopefully we can bench up onto that slope. It's pretty windy, but we're hoping the wind is going to take us up there and not blow us over the back. That's the plan. This ant with me. What do you think about this? Have a look at the wind strength. Uh, it's pretty marginal, it's about at times 30 I think on the ground but it also drops off in the cycles and I think we can climb so wish me luck, I'll see you in there <laughs> What are we doing Greg? <laughs> what is this mission? Uh, we're going driving in the Karoo Karina's going driving in the Karoo and we're going to make her drive <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in a car with her, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll be getting hammered because we can't. We've managed to bomb out after 5k. So we're going up Wabwemberg, and we haven't told Rob and Ant about the lions yet. But <laughs> they'll find out on the first glide. <laughs> and we go past Inverdorn. Yay! Yay. <laughs> The only one to watch out for is a puff adder. Yeah. Because it's super lazy. So if you tread on things rather than over things, yeah. then you're safe because you can stand up here and you'll see it right. <laughs> before you step on something. I just walk like this in the in the felt. You just crunch and the snakes will go away. Yeah, they're super cool. So how's it looking? It's looking pretty amazing. It's just like Sussex, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure which part of Sussex you're referring to. <laughs> Worked really hard right up until getting on the aeroplane, no research whatsoever. Kite surfed for three and a half days, and now we're here going into the desert. <laughs> what perfect prep, it's perfect. <laughs> and uh, have you been properly briefed about the wildlife? No. You'll be thankful to know there are no drop bears in South Africa. That's only in Australia, because there's nothing to drop out of here. So this is Vabwemberg, we're in series and we've got a beautiful day, very very light winds here but you can see the kind of the other side of the mountain is where you've got the southeasterly wind that runs through and there's an inversion layer. So that's why we've come in and we're going to go inland. <laughs> Rob, are you ready for this? I'm having great fun here buddy, you're ruining my day. <laughs> <laughs> The untangling of the disconnected glider. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Don't ever, ever disconnect it. Because it does that. <laughs> Richard, do you have any words for the YouTube fans? <laughs> Richard is the chief instigator of this whole thing. He's been bugging me since I've been in the UK. Come on, let's go into the desert. So um, if anything goes wrong, it's his fault. If it goes right, it's my fault. So, sounds about right. I mean, I'm taking my virgin into the into the career. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> What's your goal in paragliding? Survive. Survive. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. But God, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. It's my favourite site in Africa so far. Just love it here. Looks good. Go for it. And just like that, Richard climbed out and dived over the back, which left Ant and I sinking out in worsening conditions, wondering whether it was the result of being overweight or just flying badly. 
Either way, we were stuck below the ridge with a growing westerly wind that made the climbs turbulent and broken. We should have followed the Virgin over the mountains. Okay, this is pretty low, but we're just getting tired of getting smashed around on that ridge. So I'm just coming off the corner here and I'm gliding out so we don't get in the sink and we'll just try and find something off the flats. We've just got to get across to the other face there. Got 60 k's on the ground speed. That's fairly quick. Richard has taken a smarter line on this section by tucking into the shelter of the mountain which shields him from the westerly. It's a gamble going first because you can't be sure that the thermals have built strongly enough to block the spillover. But he's right on the money and climbs out again. That one thermal is the link we need. But because we're out in the stronger wind, we don't find big thermals and land like turkeys. We went off that thing and just got flushed off the end. Didn't make it across the flats, so we've walked up here and we're gonna relaunch. There we were beneath the burning sky Both had a reason to live but so much more to die Will fate decide who has to go oh, oh. We both know pain but we deal it too or Who's dealt more well I leave that up Uh, and do you want to come down to where I am so we can get up and over into the desert? Don't uh, waste too much time. The wind's getting up. Yeah, baby! If I get a big climb in the corner, I'm going to go over to the desert. It's a nice straight line. Uh, this is a nasty climb and the air is getting pretty messed up but I'd rather have altitude and I've already committed to going over with this just going to make the best of it I want altitude to get over this mountain here. I'm sure there's gonna to be tons of sink. But I've got enough with the tailwind to just run out into the desert. But every circle is just gonna give me that much more safety for any big turbulence. So I'm working a point one here. So I'm trying to keep as much altitude as possible. Woo! Free fall. Going to this little hill because it'll trigger a thermal nicely. And with the wind direction I can flick off to the right quite safely. So just hoping something would release there. Over. Yeah, I'm correct, that's in the 
That's correct, about 3,000 up at this flight angle. Hey, welcome to my office. How's that for a view? So 3,400 meters. Five o'clock, we're just going to keep gliding. That's usually where the wind comes from. I'm on full speed bar and I have to aim almost at right angles to follow the road. There's a very strong westerly coming through and I can't tell how much stronger it's going to get. I use my standard method of pushing upwind of my landing field for a safe approach. This means I know I'll reach it, and I can drop back through air I've already sampled, which reduces the chance of a low-level surprise thermal, or turbulence. I switch over to rear risers to kill the wing. Going insane. Kind of windy here. Yeah? That's useful. So um, what I can do is just pack the wing on onto that point that's trapped. Then. Well, that was a big flight, a bit breezy on landing, I didn't like that, but uh, I came down safely, a little bit of speed bar to go forward, so cool, that's the limit. Well done to Richard for leading the day. Paraglider flights through the Tonkwa are rare and all the more special because of it. It's so good to know these vast open places exist in our world. Crowded man-made environments can trap us. This place? Ah, oh, just look at it. Thanks for coming with me on this journey. 
I hope I've lifted your spirits as this flight lifted mine. Hey! Oh, that was great, eh? Very scenic. Now that you understand how things work in this desert, you're ready to watch my other Tonkwa adventure. If you'd like to level up your flying and support this channel, you know where to find me.